Hello everybody and welcome back to another Monster Hunter World video. I am Lutherian and this of course is Monster Hunter World. Today we're going to be talking about a mixed set of armor called the Armor of the Forgotten Path. This set was actually designed by my friend Jordan. He came up with this set when trying to develop something that would work around his playstyle in particular. The helmet for this set is actually the Dragon King eye patch, used for the weakness exploit. The chest piece is the Kirin Jacket Beta. You have this for level 2 of Divine Blessing. For the gauntlets, we have the Damascus Van Braces Beta for the Gem Slot and the Handicraft. For the belt, we have the Nergigante Coil Beta for the 1 Gem Slot and the 2 Attack Boost. For the boots, we have the Death Stench Heels Beta version for the 2 Gem Slots and the level 2 Handicraft they boast. This armor set, coupled with the attack charm level 3, will allow us to have level 5 attack boost, increasing the amount of damage we deal with each attack. Handicraft level 3, which will increase our sharpness and reduce the amount of time we have to spend sharpening. Weakness exploit level 2, which will increase the amount of damage we do to monsters' critical weak points. And Divine Blessing level 2, which will actually decrease the amount of damage we take during a fight. You can increase these armor skills further with the decoration slots available on this gear, as there are 6 slots total available to use. From the armor itself, you get 1 level 3 slot, 1 level 2 slot, and 4 level 1 slots. Depending on what weapon you use, you may get extra slots. As you can see here, I'm using the Xenogiva Switch Axe, which gives 2 extra slots on top of the armor set. As far as decorations go, I recommend one protection jewel and one attack jewel at least to build on those base stats for the gear. After that, it really falls down to availability and preference on what other jewels you want to add in based on what skills you want to have while out on a hunt. To finish up on our customization options here, you can change quite a bit of the armor to match either your weapon or add in your favorite color. Personally, I just choose to stick with black or, depending on the weapon, possibly white. Now, let's go over some of the benefits that this armor set offers in terms of the skills. Handicraft increases the amount of sharpness a weapon has as long as the bar in the sharpness meter is not already full. This can even lead to some weapons going from blue sharpness to a little bit of white sharpness. But keep in mind, if you're using something like the final Nergigante weapons, which have a full sharpness bar already, they do not benefit from this skill at all. Divine Blessing is a great skill. Essentially, every time that your character is hit, there is a chance that your character will take reduced damage. Anytime this skill activates, you will get a notification on the right hand side of the screen saying damage taken was reduced. At level 3, Divine Blessing reduces the amount of damage you take by 50% whenever it procs. This can be an extremely useful skill to have later on in the game when facing off against the Elder Dragons and Tempered Monsters, who all have large attacks that will do massive amounts of damage. The last skill of this set is Weakness Exploit, which essentially gives you an increased critical hit chance when attacking a monster's weak point, such as their head, wings, or tail. This can greatly increase the amount of damage you do, as level 2 grants a 30% chance to crit. That pretty much covers the basics for the Armor of the Forgotten Path. What kind of armor sets do you guys use? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. 